Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 700 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, I'm a nurse practitioner. We're the authors of a three-category Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, and even the designers of the new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, recently named by the Prepared Family blog as the teaching preparedness resource of the week. Before I start, I'd like to thank all the awesome people we've met this year during our travels from Florida to Oregon to Ontario, gosh, to right here at the Birdhouse Inn in beautiful East Tennessee and parts in between. We've been truly blessed to have the support of the preparedness community and we promise to be unflagging in our mission to put a medically prepared person in every family. Today we'll talk about an antibiotic that would be useful, especially in this area, to deal with some organisms that can cause diarrheal disease and other problems. Metronidazole, aquatic equivalent fish zole, 250 milligrams, is an antibiotic in the nitroimidazole family that is used primarily to treat infections caused by anaerobic bacteria and protozoa. Anaerobes are bacteria that don't depend on oxygen to live. Protozoa have been defined as single-celled organisms with animal-like behavior. Many actually can propel themselves randomly from place to place by the means of a flagellum, a tail-like hair they whip around that allows them to move. The antibiotic metronidazole works by blocking some of the functions within bacteria and protozoa, thus resulting in their death. It's better known by the U.S. brand name Flagyl and usually comes in 250 milligram and 500 milligram tablets. Metronidazole is used in the treatment of these bacterial diseases. Diverticulitis, an intestinal infection seen in older individuals. Peritonitis, an inflammation of the abdominal lining due to a ruptured appendix, ruptured cysts, and other causes. Certain pneumonias, diabetic foot ulcer infections. Meningitis, an infection of the spinal cord and brain lining. Bone and joint infections. Colitis, an infection of the intestines due to a bacterial species known as Clostridia, sometimes caused by taking an antibiotic. Endocarditis, a heart infection. Bacterial vaginosis, a very common vaginal infection. Pelvic inflammatory disease, an infection in women that can lead to abscesses, often in combination with other antibiotics. Uterine infections, especially after childbirth and miscarriage, and dental infections, sometimes in combination with amoxicillin. Besides that, they also can handle H. pylori infections, a bacteria that causes peptic ulcers, and some skin infections. Wow, that's a lot of uses and indications for metronidazole. And those are just the bacterial infections that metronidazole can deal with. It also works with these protozoal infections. Amoebiasis, diarrheal disease caused by entamoeba. Giardiasis, infection of the small intestine caused by Giardia species in contaminated water or food. And trichomoniasis, a vaginal infection caused by a parasite which can be sexually transmitted. Amoebiasis and giardiasis seem to be caught from drinking what appears to be even the purest mountain stream water. And these infections are seen right here in the Great Smoky Mountains and elsewhere. Never fail to sterilize all water, regardless of the source, before drinking it. Metronidazole is used in different dosages to treat different diseases. You'll find detailed information on that in our book, The Survival Medicine Handbook, and in other standard medical references, such as a physician's desk reference. You'll also find this information online at drugs.com or rxlist.com. All drugs have the potential for side effects, also known as adverse reactions. These are different from allergies, where your body actually mounts an immune response to a drug, such as in a penicillin allergy. Now, one particular side effect has to do with alcohol. Drinking alcohol while on metronidazole will very likely make you vomit. Metronidazole should not be used in pregnancy, but can be used in those allergic to penicillin. Having antibiotics will give you an additional tool in the medical woodshed that just might one day save a life. They're not toys, however, and should only be used when absolutely necessary. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching.